Hello, everybody. Uh, I'm Alex Tabarrok. I am the Director of Research for the Independent Institute. The Independent Institute, for those of you who don't know us, is a nonpartisan uh, public policy research organization. Every year, we publish many books. We publish a quarterly journal, the Independent Review. Uh, and we host forums like this one, both here and uh, at our offices in Oakland, California. Our goal is to enlighten the public and to better improve uh, public debate and understanding of social and economic issues. Uh, before we get to our main event, I did just want to make a note. I wanted to uh, congratulate uh, Mario Vargas Llosa on winning the Nobel Prize for Literature. <laughs> Aside from the uh, obvious merits of uh, this pick, The War of the End of the World is certainly one of my favorite novels of all time. Aside from the obvious merits, this is important to us at the Independent Institute for two reasons. First of all, uh, Mario has a deep understanding of the foundations of a free society. He is a classical liberal and a true scholar of what makes uh, civil society possible. In addition, Mario is the father of Alvaro uh, Vargas Llosa, who works here at the Independent Institute. Uh, he is the author of uh, many Independent Institute books, including this one of Liberty for Latin America. Uh, and he's generally a uh, all-around uh, great guy. He is busy fielding telephone calls at his home today, but uh, he'll be back in the office tomorrow. So we're really very excited uh, about this award. Okay. Uh, today's forum. Today's forum is about an unusual uh, topic. Uh, a number of people have made the argument that the environmental movement has aspects of a religion uh, to it. Uh, Michael Crichton, the novelist, uh, once said that the environmental movement, it's got a lost Eden, a state of grace, uh, when we had unity with nature. It then has a fall from grace into a state of both literal and figurative uh, pollution. And of course, this pollution was caused by a result of the uh, eating from the tree of knowledge. And of course, uh, the environmental movement has a judgment day, which is coming for all of us. Now, often critiques like this are made from the perspective of economics, which is a seemingly uh, rationalistic and secular alternative to environmentalism. But our first speaker today, Robert Nelson, challenges this conventional perspective. Economics, argues Nelson, also makes, also has the theological presuppositions about the nature of the good. Now, being an economist myself, uh, I actually, I don't always agree uh, with uh, Bob's arguments, but they do sometimes make me a little bit uncomfortable. Uh, for example, for somebody who thinks of himself, as I do, as a secular thinker, it can be a little disconcerting to find that I am often uh, preaching the power of the invisible hand. So, so Bob may have me to rights on that. I, uh, uh, <laughs> that's right, that's right. There's certainly some connection there. Uh, Bob is a professor at the University of Maryland. He is the author of The New Holy Wars. Environmental religion versus economic religion versus environmental religion in contemporary America. This really is a superb book. It challenges both sides of the debate. And I'm also very pleased to note that the Holy Wars was recently awarded the 2010 uh, Eric Hoffer Grand Prize Award. Uh, Hoffer, for those of you who don't know, was the longshoreman philosopher whose book, The True Believers, remains a classic in uh, the study of religion and of mass movements. We're joined, uh, Bob is joined here today with two scholars who have thought deeply and critically about the nature of economics and religion. Uh, Stephen Hayward is a fellow at the American Enterprise Institute where he writes regularly about economics and the environment. He is also an accomplished historian. And I would mention in particular his magnificent two-volume history the age of Reagan. We're also fortunate to have Max Stackhouse uh, with us. Max is Professor um, Emeritus at the Princeton Theological Seminary, and he is the general editor of the four-volume God and Globalization uh, series. 
in particular is the author of the fourth volume, which lays out what has been called a moral infrastructure for a worldwide civil society. So we're going to begin tonight with uh, Bob Nelson, followed by Steve Hayward and Max Stackhouse. And then there'll be an opportunity both for questions and debate among our panel, and also for questions and debate and answers uh, from our audience as well.